Well, welcome back. The conductor search is over at the Spartanburg Philharmonic. John Conklin has been named the 10th music director as the orchestra heads into its 95th season. John, congratulations to you. Thank you so much. Yeah, we, well, we had a chance you're to- You're the man. You had a chance to interview all of the musical director co candidates, and uh, you came out on top, so congratulations. Uh, thank what, you so much. What was your reaction when they, when they told you, they call you, they send the bouquet of flowers? How did it work? Uh, you Andy, know, man. I was sitting at the piano uh, preparing for another concert, thinking that surely they're gonna call me like a month later. Yeah. Uh, I saw this, and I saw a missed call, and I thought, oh, oh gosh, no. I missed the moment. <laughs> what did so you Spartanburg? It said, yeah, it said Catherine Boucher, executive director, and yeah. I immediately called her back and, you know, was sort of uh, eager to hear the news, uh, and it came through, and it just took a minute to sort of sink in, you know, sort of like winning the lottery. Yeah, oh, for Dream sure. about this moment, and then now it's here. Well, there were nine others. Where, where were you in that process? Were you I was right in the middle, oh, so the middle. Uh, I had a year to wait and to, oh, to right. get to the concert, and another year to wait after the concert. Well, it's a big thing. It's a big process. Yeah, yeah. congratulations. Yeah. So, yeah. Here. And yeah. the 10th music conductor, or music director of the, of the Philharmonic, that's a big job to take on um, and you're going into a concert on Saturday where you get a chance to kind of bring your programming to the stage and uh, the music of the new world is what you're focusing on. Why, why that as this first uh, with under your baton? That's right. Uh, we are so excited. Uh, the, the new world symphony is a perfect piece to kick off sort of a new era as we look towards our 100th anniversary. The piece is about hope. It's about excitement for the future, mm -hmm. about potential, about what we can achieve together. Uh, and we just are, it's, it's just the perfect thing to play. <laughs> well, now your home is Twitchell at Converse College. That's right. It's your auditorium, but you're featuring a soloist. That's right. Xavier Foley is a fellow Atlanta native like me. <laughs> he is a, he's a virtuoso bass player. There, is, there are good bass players, there are great bass players, and then there's Xavier all the way up here. <laughs> and he can't drive a compact car and get that bass. No, no, we, we, we had to buy him a plane ticket for him and, and his bass, right? <laughs> but he's written a soul bass concerto for us, and when I say soul bass, I mean like soul oh, 1970s awesome. bass. Awesome, okay. You've yeah. never heard anything like it. It's, oh, yeah. it's incredible. This piece. is great. So starting out strong, too, so people can get so, tickets for that, that concert coming up on Saturday. Okay. Uh, for people who just want an idea of like who you are as a person. When did you know that you wanted to do conducting, obviously starting out as a musician? Uh, talk, talk about that and some of the things that people may find surprising about, about John, the new conductor. <laughs> sure, so I started viola, violin and piano at age four. Never thought that I was gonna make a life of it. It was just something fun to do. Uh, but then I got into high school, was still playing, and my orchestra conductor got sick one day. And she said, John, you're up, you gotta do it. And yeah. So from that point, uh, I've sort of been on this journey. But you play piano too. I did, I do, yeah. and that's the one I play the most. Uh, mm -hmm. Now, learning all the scores and all those things, it's just a useful tool. Right. Um, and from that moment, I sort of can trace my journey back. But I've been tied to the Philharmonic from conducting before I guess yeah. conducted. Uh, I was tied to it through graduate school with uh, a couple of music directors ago. Where'd you go? I was at Yale. I was fortunate huh. to go to Yale. And Casual. Couldn't get yeah. into a good school. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. That's right. That's right. It was, it was in Carolina yeah. Furman. Well, yeah. Right. <laughs> if you had to, you know, identify vision going forward, like, as you say, looking forward to that 100 years, yeah. uh, what are some of the things that you're going to be targeting for the Philharmonic? Um, a lot of people are, are focusing on programming and diversity in programming when yeah. it comes to that. Absolutely. So we want, we, we're, our goal is to create unique concert experiences that cannot be found anywhere else in the city, the region, the state, the nation. Uh, and we want, we want everyone to be able to see themselves in something that the Philharmonic's doing. And there's a lot of series that we offer. We're going to expand the repertoire uh, and all the different types of music that you can experience at the Philharmonic. Uh, the 100th anniversary is a moment to look backwards about what we've achieved, mm -hmm. but also, you know, what kind of orchestra do we want to be for the second century of our mm -hmm. life? Yeah. Uh, and those are the big questions we're going to You'll be the really great headed in the next 15 <laughs> or 12 years. You'll be here. <laughs> well, we're glad that you're a part of it. Yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. Again, that concert happening on Saturday. You can go to uh, the Spartanburg Philharmonic website, yeah. which is on your screen, to buy those tickets and head over to Twitchell to see that. It's in Spartanburg, Twitchell Auditorium. Uh, it's about three blocks from my house if you want to park in a drive. So you're going to go see some bass playing, yeah. huh? Yeah.